it's me Grace. Today I'm going to try to keep it really short and sweet because I feel like podcasts or other episodes or whatever you call them are just really long. It's hard for me to keep my attention that long on one particular person or group of people and um, it's hard for me to make it from one end all the way to the other and when they have so many projects to share I kind of get lost in them and I want to comment and say how beautiful I think this is or how nice I thought their yarn choices were for that and by the end of the video I've forgotten what patterns they've been using and what the yarns were so I have to actually sit and take notes, which is kind of funny, but that's just kind of how my brain works. So I'm going to try to keep mine really short. Just to let you know, I won't be doing many more episodes like this. In fact, I think the next episode will be my last one. Um, just because it's very time consuming on my part. I have different segments that I have to film and gather things for and try to keep up with and right now we are in our the end of our first week of school and we started back well by the time you see it we won't be but we'll have ended our first week of school we started Monday June the 19th and so we're back in the swing of things things are going well so far I'm really really happy with the materials that we're using this year we're really only using one no, we're using two, probably two new materials this year, but they've been really easy to get used to, um, really enjoying them so far. I'm really enjoying the discussions that we're having over different things, especially in history, so that's exciting to me. Um, I just am not going to have the time to dedicate to it. I really want to focus on my kids and their school and the other things that we have going on and I just feel like I'm not going to have time to upload as many videos so I'm slowing down just to let you know I will be uploading probably every two weeks I've been doing every week so far except I did miss last week because of obviously we were doing uh, our first week of school and I just didn't have time or energy to devote to putting out a video this makes my teeth look really black between them. They really don't look that bad. But look, I mean, even like every line of my face is black. So between my teeth is black. No. I have many Nora cookies. It's just the way the webcam makes me look. But, um, we're gonna get right into it. I wanted just to share my favorite things that I've been working on finished objects and works in progress because I've been doing so many things it would be impossible to share them all without taking a couple hours probably. So first of all I was making these for my husband. This was part of the um, the Bakery Bears Opal Knit Along. If you're participating in that you know what I'm talking about but it was basically you're gonna cast on sock. It was like it started May 25th on Kay's birthday, and she wanted everyone to use opal yarn and cast on socks on her birthday. Well, I missed the date, and it it was completely my fault. But I just kind of I don't know what happened. I just lost track of time or something. But I had my yarn. I had already ordered it. I bought it off of Etsy from uh, Felted for You. I'll link her in the description box. And, um, yeah, I chose this color. It's, let's see, where's the number? It's color 9046. And this is what the front of the wrapper looks like. But they're all colors that I thought my husband would like, and I was hoping to have them done for Father's Day. Obviously, they're not, but uh, he knows he's getting them because I finally told him last night. But anyways, uh, I've gotten to turning the heel, and that's as far as I've gotten. And this is uh, Petty Harbor, 
Raina Curtis, and I found this on Ravelry. I was looking for something. I, I've never made socks before. These are my first socks, and I'm really hoping they'll turn out well. But I was looking for easy socks for my first time around, and I came across this pattern. I'm really, really enjoying it. I like the pattern repeats and everything. And I have to say, I really like the opal yarn. I've never used it before either. So I really like the way that the pattern's working out. And unfortunately, while I was making my sock, I don't know, I was knitting it at night and I think I increased by accident. I ended up having four extra stitches, but I'm not too worried about four extra stitches. If it were ten extra stitches, I might be a little concerned, but uh, I'll work it out somehow. So this is my favorite work in progress at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying it. I thought I was going to be scared to death to make socks, and that's kind of why I was kind of dreading casting on, but once I did, I was really, really excited to be doing it. Uh, my favorite uh, finished object probably is this pad cover. I knitted this. Um, I don't remember the name of the pattern. And it's put away right now in my binder. So I don't remember the name of it. I think it was a Yarnspirations pattern. Yeah, it was. It was Yarnspirations. So you could just search for that if you want, or I will link the pattern in the description box. But it was a pretty easy knit, and you just knit a panel, and you sew it together, knit a flap, uh, make some, you have to crochet the buttonholes, or the button loops, and then I just put on three different wooden buttons, and then uh, tied them on with the yarn because I thought it was cute. So I used the yellow on the ends and the orange in the middle. But it just has the three loops. If I can... And they're kind of tight on these big buttons. So you can see that you just make the little button loops. You just chain a few and then... Uh, so it's supposed to hold, I guess, like an iPad or a knockoff pad. It, doesn't really matter what kind of pad you have, but it's the same on front and back, except for the flap and the buttons, of course. I haven't bought any new yarn, so there's nothing to share in that department. I, I have not been reading very much just on my own. Um, my kids and I are going through the Book of Romans, and so that's been kind of neat to be having discussions with them about the Book of Romans and the Bible. And also I've been listening to The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte and that's through LibriVox.org. I will link them down below in case you've never heard of them, but that's a good way to get audiobooks that are in the public domain, and you don't have to pay for them. They're all free, so that's really neat. And uh, I discovered them, how did I discover them? I think it was through a homeschool thing. Someone let me know. I think it was. I can't remember. But it has been really nice for us because that means that if we have books that we're using in our homeschool and they're in the public domain, I don't have to actually sit and read through them all. Uh, we can just all listen together and that's really nice. Unfortunately, sometimes you'll get a reader who's very dry or who maybe has a very thick accent so it's hard to understand everything that they say. But overall, it's a really good audio experience and I would encourage anyone to try out LibriVox.org. Not only that, but you can volunteer. And uh, there are a few hoops to jump through, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, after you get through all that, you are free to upload uh, various books and things that they're working on. So that's kind of a neat thing, too, because it's all volunteer.
The black-eyed Susan grows really well without any human intervention. It likes open spaces and is really drought resistant. It's beautiful with its yellow petals and brown centers or what people refer to as the eyes. They're nearly black. They're so dark brown. They bloom usually from summer to the early fall, but I've seen them in the southeastern United States as early as probably May. They are the state flower of Maryland, which is a really cool fact. And also wildlife like deer, rabbits, and some insects even use this flower for food. A lot of folks like to put this flower in their garden because it's so bright and cheerful looking. But it grows well just out on its own, so it's also known as a wildflower. And tell me when to go. <laughs> well, I don't have to go right now, Mom.